Ja. Ja, kom her hjem. Mange tak. Mhm, jeg er god. Ja, vi skal ikke have chokolade med mig. Jeg har ikke en chokolade. Well, I think we both know we'd be here. Mhm, ja, vi er. really did. Mm -hmm. um, so, <laughs> now we're here. Mm -hmm. um, what should we do? Well, like I said before, like I was hoping that when I won the veto, we'd be able to have an open conversation. Absolutely. You'd have an open mind. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping that there's just no bullshitting in this conversation, you know what I mean? Yeah, just because, for sure. Like, we can just be open. Um, obviously, like at the end of the day, like I do think I was the target this week. And I think that, like, winning the veto was the, was the way I was, I was the only way I was gonna save myself. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, which is fair. Which I'm, it's I, fine. I knew you were. Yeah. Very high chance of winning yeah. the veto. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, so like it makes sense. Like what you said. Yeah. You know, like you knew I was gonna win the veto if I was off the block. I would have taken someone off. Yeah. Um, best way to make sure I didn't do that was put me up. Yeah. Completely fair. Um, so now I was just, actually hoping that Beth was going to win the veto. Yeah. And then I could have somehow struck a deal with mm -hmm. you and Beth. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious, like, what your plan, like, what, what is your goal? Like, what is your ultimate goal for this week? Um, my ultimate goal was to try to see how I could stay safe next week. Okay. And I honestly wanted Beth to fight for it for herself because I know that she needs that so that it branches away from you. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like, she won something on her own. Yes. I was hoping that she would come down. Yeah. I could strike a deal with you, too. And then I would put up probably Brayden. Okay, that's fair. The problem is, the reason why I even kind of put Beth on, um, everybody's pissed at Beth. Mm -hmm. Beth well, got. I think I, Beth has accepted the fact that she's going home already. I've already told her. Yeah. That that's probably what's going to happen. Like they, like I got a big push for Beth. I don't want Beth to go on my H O H. Yeah. It's not a good. It's not necessarily a good look for me it's yeah. not what i intended to happen yeah um but i don't know who i could even put her up against where she has a chance of staying yeah i honestly don't like for me this conversation is more like me like i know you assume that like i'm like emotional when it comes to beth and no, like, no 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 i don't know like whatever um but at the end of the day it's like it's a game yeah and, like i'm not an emotional player at all yeah, yeah and like yeah. i'm not like fucking in love or anything like that like you know what i mean yeah so it's just like i'm chilling and i've, I've already accepted the fact that she's going home this week okay. and i've already told her that um, um are you gonna be like really mad at me because well, of that? no this is where this conversation comes in and it's just like now for us moving forward mm -hmm. um beth not being here if you want to work with me yes um that would entail working with ty as well because ty has been my number one this entire game and he has to be in on whatever we do. Right. Um, so for you, I think in this week, it would be figuring out the best way to keep him happy as well as. And that's why I took him to Wendy's. Yeah. And like Ty is not anybody that I want to see leave at all. Exactly. He is not. Yeah. The problem is <sighs> if I put up, say, Kiefer next to Beth. Mm -hmm. I don't have a big target next week that people are going after, right? right. Then everybody's looking at Well, that's at the same me. for me. Like, I kind of... Like, I kind of... Like, I can't I use Kiefer. Kiefer. I know. Like, I need Kiefer here, too. Yeah. Like, but that's the thing with next week is, like, when it comes to you and your vulnerability... Yeah. Like, it's not you that I, I need out. It's, yeah, I know Kiefer. that it's Kiefer. Yes. So once Beth is gone, that's just one less person that can beat me. Yes. And then Kiefer is the next person that can beat me. Yes. So I need him gone before the final four because I feel like he is going to win that final four HOH. Yeah, I agree. And then we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I agree. So, like, he is the next big target, and Ty knows that as well. So it's like he is the one that we need next. Yeah. So when 100%. it comes to security for you, and I that's honestly, the promise I can make you. I can't take the shot at Kiefer. No. Do you know what I mean? I know. It's just not the greatest look for me. Right. I do understand that I, I thought that you would win. When we had a conversation before, when I say that I think you're the most trustworthy person in the house, I actually believe that. Mm -hmm. I necessarily didn't want Beth to go on my HOH, but a lot came back about Beth, mm -hmm. including things that she said about 
you as well. Yeah. Things she said about me, things she said about Brayden, things she said about Ty, things she said about Kiefer. Right. I don't know how much of it is bullshit because everybody lies to me anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't really see a scenario where Beth stays if she's on the block right yeah. now. Oh, I know. And I feel like garbage about it. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. Like, it's not a great look, but, like, it is what it is. Like, that's just what happens. Like, she's going to be up there. Um, that's why I just think, like, this, more, this discussion is more of me just, like, knowing that she's going and then, like, accepting that moving forward, yeah. like, your bridges need to be not burnt. You know yeah. what I mean? So, like, if Well, and vice versa. Yeah, exactly. And, like, I'm like, not... Like, I kind of can't keep coming and taking shots at you or you taking yeah. shots at me. It's kind of redundant at this it point. It is redundant. Like, it's just, like, you know... I'm playing in every veto from now on. Like, I'm not really planning on losing again. So it's like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna be in a position where I, I'm on the block many times, like going no. forward. No, so, no, 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 no. Um, I just feel like it's absolutely redundant to continue this back and forth. Yeah. Um, like I've said before, like in the end, it's like, if you're in the final t four, three, like that is better for me. Yeah. If it's Kiefer and Beth, it's not good for me. No. Like, you know what I mean? Well, and then it gets hard because then you're playing for other people. Yeah, yeah. I know. And honestly, like, I felt like shit putting you guys up together. Mm -hmm. But, like, if you guys would have started using vetoes on each other, do you know what I mean? Then it's the song and dance. Everybody's come. It's, it was kind of the same scenario that I was with, with Tina. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, love sense. Tina, but, like, now I'm a big target because I'm so closely aligned with somebody. Right. No, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. I was just, like, it wasn't a surprise. Like, I, was, I knew it was coming eventually. Yeah. Um, do you think there's any way to, like, save Beth and you at the same time, or no? This week? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, like, I honestly don't think so. Like, yeah. for me, it's just, I, I, I knew that when I won that veto, yeah. that she would be going home. I felt you that way I when mean? I won mine against Tina. Exactly. So it's just like, it's, a sh it's like a bittersweet feeling. Obviously, I'm safe, but then, like, I know that she's going. Mm -hmm. um, but my first thought was, like, because, like, I, I'm not playing with emotion. So I'm like, my first thought is, okay, now, looking at the numbers next week, how can I be in a good place with you, Ty, and Brayden on the side, kind of? Yeah. You know? And, like, we can work together because Kiefer is the next person that needs to go. 100%. Yeah. So it's like, we need to, like... Because Kiefer does know his days very well. Oh, exactly. So, exactly. So he needs to be... The next one to go. Yeah. So for me, it's like, how do I make sure everybody's targets are aimed the same way? You um, know what I mean? Well, I obviously can't play in an HOH yeah, next exactly, week. Exactly. Um, so it, when there is a veto situation up for grabs, I'm gunning for it, no mm -hmm. matter who wins it. Mm -hmm. If in the chance that you win and you put me on the block, I would obviously take myself off. Mm -hmm. If in the chance you win HOH and I wasn't on the block, I would keep them the same. Okay. I wouldn't, I'm not in a position to be saving people. I need to play for myself. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. And I understand like if you win HOH, if I do go on the, like I knew that that is a possibility. Mm -hmm. I knew that you were most likely going to win the veto regardless. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't risk you taking anybody else off. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it would be the same situation. And I honestly, like, I had a really good chat with Ty. I feel good with Ty. Yeah. If I'm being super, super genuinely honest, I think you and Ty are the only ones that don't bullshit me. Yeah. And throughout this game, when I have said, I don't work with sides, I work with people, it wasn't necessarily you and Ty. Oh, I see what you're saying. Do you know oh, what I mean? Okay. Yeah. And it's not like, I would have loved to work with Beth. Beth is, like, a strong, powerful woman. Like, it's not... There was just a couple things that she lied about and like different things were like, I just, I couldn't tell if Beth was being truthful with me. That's mm -hmm. all. That's fair. And then honestly, when all of the guys come up here and start telling me all this shit about Beth and that they're going to be pissed if I don't put up Beth, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now I got Ty mad at me. I got Brayden mad at me. I got Kiefer mad at me. Right. Beth apparently was already mad at me. Mm -hmm. I didn't want her to go. I was hoping that she would win the veto, take herself off, and then we could finagle things because I know that Ty is really loyal to you and Beth is really loyal to you. Mm -hmm. I thought there was a way maybe we could have finagled it. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I feel like she is kind of 
upset um, a bunch of people. Yeah. And even like Ty, like, like I know that they've been close, but I know for a fact that like he's not happy with her. Well, I, there was just some comments that I guess were made. Yeah. That like she has pitch. both of you yeah, wrapped around her he, fingers. And he pitched like I mean, apparently she pitched like him and Brayden to go up. Yeah. So like he was not happy about that. Like he was pissed. Yeah. So I, I feel like he is, has no feelings towards just cutting no. it off right now. Oh, and I heard that there was also something else that was said that Ty can't win anything anyway. Yeah. And exactly. I think that cheesed him. Oh, he's, he was pissed. Like, I talked to him in the kitchen and he was pissed. Yeah. Like, so. I think he was gunning for that veto and he probably would have taken you off. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To show you his loyalty. Yeah. And to show that he can win something. Yeah, you know? exactly. But, like, in that situation, it's, like, moving forward, if it was, like, obviously me and Ty, strong, and then, like, if we can just trust you. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's a I'm good... I'm in a position where I've got no one. Yeah. And honestly, I don't know if Kiefer would take me in a scenario. I don't know if I could beat Kiefer. Right. I literally need to survive week by week. Right. And that's why I can't put up somebody like Kiefer because yeah, I need be. a big ass target. Yeah, it's the same with me. It's like if Kiefer goes, like I'm the biggest then target. Then you don't have, exactly. yes. Exactly, so it's like I need him to be here at least. And that's why I told you, like if you win the veto, it's not bad for me. Yeah. It's actually not bad for me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know you were kind of like indifferent, but like, because <laughs> obviously, like if I stay on the block, then I have a chance of going home. But yeah, if I, if I win, yeah, it's still yeah, yeah, yeah. But even then, I still think that you might have had the votes to stay. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I it's, don't know. It depends what like everybody's thinking. Like it depends yeah. if they want to keep the target. I just knew that you had a really good chance of winning. Yeah. And I couldn't risk you pulling someone down, and me pissing off more people. Exactly. Exactly. And I will talk to Beth. Like I feel like shit that she's going because she even said to me, she's like, "Well, it's it's a boys' game. Like yeah, you're know. next." Yeah. And if I follow Beth next, that's super shit. Yeah. But I'm at the point where, like, I've got no one. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm literally... Because mm -hmm. even as much as, like, I would like to trust Kiefer, I don't. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. of some of the information that was, like, told to me when he was on the way out. Right. You yeah. know? That's fair. Yeah, I don't really know exactly where his head's at now because of what happened to like him. Like, if you won HOH and you took that shot at him and he was on the block, I would vote him out. Yeah? I would. Okay. If that can just stay between yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. So I would do that over, like two votes at that over point. Ty or Braden. Yeah. Just because he will be somebody that's very hard to get out. Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah, it's almost easier for me because, like... In that situation, and I would I fight for the veto. I was actually pissed at that veto. I think I might have done pretty good at that. Uh, I may have given you a run for your money. I was like, maybe I was fine. Damn it! <laughs> you did it fast. Yeah. But I, that is like something where I'm like, oh, I've been waiting for yeah. something like this. I would have been pissed if I couldn't play in that one. Just yeah, then like, you cool. got one a trip. I mean, honestly, yeah. great job. That yeah. was a killer time. Yeah, I didn't even. You totally threw me off because your suitcases were all over the place. I like I was like, there is no just way. Just where my mind goes, I have to delete. I have to delete and. No, it was eliminate. good strategy. Yeah. yeah, it was very smart. Yeah, but um. But no, it almost makes it easier. Honestly, like at the end of the day, it's like, if I'm thinking from a game perspective, like Beth going and then me winning HOH just gives me two clear people I can put on the block. Yeah. Keith and Brayden. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like almost makes it easier for me. And I am aware that if you have to use my name, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like if one of them, I don't know. The only thing that I worry about is like if Keith and Brayden go up and Keith comes down and I'm sitting next to Brayden. I don't know who stays in that scenario. Um, if it's my HOH, it's written going yeah. home. Um, and again, everything just has to get rolled with the dice. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I could just tell them it's like a backdoor plan on Terra, like kind of thing. Yeah. Just to tell them because. And honestly, I feel like the same as you. Like anything that I can, tr like, I would try for the veto as hard as I could. Mm. No, you can't you throw were, anything. Yes, no. <laughs> no. Oh, well, and I've heard of people throwing things, and I'm like, what are you talking about? I would never about? throw, and I hope you never thought I would, I would ever throw something. Well, no. Well, I don't think that you would just because you're so competitive. Yeah. But I've never felt that comfortable never. in this game. No. Even if it's, like, my closest ally. Yeah. Like, to throwing a comp to them, like, how can I be sure that that's what they want to do? Yeah. They want to save me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, if I was in a comp with Ty, and, like, we were head and head, like, I still would have considered, like, not throwing it to him, just because... How do I know his mind doesn't change? Right. And he thinks like, oh, I can't beat this guy in the end. I need to uh, take him. Just like a full heads up, like when you take yourself off the block, Ty will be the replacement. Oh, yes? But he won't go home. Oh, shit. Okay. Have you told him that? 
he kind of knows, just because he knows I can't use Kiefer. Um, and I could put Brayden, but then if I were to put Brayden, and if the Osh chance, Beth and Ty stay with you, like, I'm fucked. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I just don't know how we're going to work with Ty now moving forward then. Um, I've already kind of let him know about it, and Kiefer and Brayden are dead set. Like, they wanted Beth out when I placed the noms. Oh. Like, yeah, yeah. they were pushing for Beth. So unless there's, like, other combos that need to happen, like, I don't. I just know that Ty will he'll be cheesed. Like, he, yeah. he already talked about that. Like, if he goes up, like, I don't know if he's repairing that bridge yeah. at that point. And if what, he can't repair What that, would you think I would do, like, Brayden, though? I mean, personally, I think Ty is in a, is in a position where he's voting Beth out. Yeah. And Kiefer's in a position where he's voting Beth out. Yeah. So, that my vote doesn't even matter. Yeah. So, it's like, do you want to burn a bridge with Ty or do you want to burn a bridge with Brayden? Yeah. That's your decision. Because moving forward, if Ty's cheese at you, I can't work with you either. Yeah. And I'll obviously have to talk with Ty. Yeah. And Brayden and them. It's more just like a... Well, Brayden's like... Like, what can he promise you at this point? Uh, it's not even that he can... He can't promise yeah. me anything. It's just more so like... Brayden is also a target. Do you know what I mean? In a sense, but like not really. Because and I, I know that Brayden will not vote out Ty. I know. Oh, him. I know that. He will not. He will not. And from the discussions that Kiefer had about Beth, he will not vote out Ty either. Like, he wants Beth gone. It's just more in, like, the case scenario, like, if I throw up Brayden, and then literally Brayden gets voted out, and mm. I am honestly fucked for next week. Yeah. Because just, it's you, Beth, Ty, and Kiefer, and that's your final four. But I know that, I just know that, like... Like I, I, well, first of all, I know that Ty will be really mad mm -hmm. <laughs> about hitting the block. Yeah. And like, the off chance that he gets voted out, like there is a chance that he gets voted out if he hits the block. Yeah. And I know that for a fact, because because of the conversations I've had, not with everybody you. is being full straight with you. So if Ty hits the block, he has a great chance of going home as well. Yeah. So you just keep that in mind. What if is more happened, beneficial for you, for who's staying, like Ty, Ty or Beth? Ty staying. But also Ty staying and not being cheesed at you is beneficial for me. Yeah. Because I need to work with you. Yeah. And if Ty's mad and gunning for you, then I can't go against him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. So it's like, like the conversation we had last night, he was pretty shook. And he's like, man, if I go up, like, I'm done with, I'm done with you. Like, yeah, yeah, there. yeah. And like, if he wins next week, he said he's like balls to the wall. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean. So just like I'll chat with him. I'll yeah, see. Like, like I'm just like I'm kind him. of like backed into corner, and they like push hard for best. So and kind of together. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I just know for a fact that like Ty, like he wants that relationship with Brayden yeah. because Brayden has already said to people that like Ty is his number one. Mm -hmm. So it's like he knows that in the end Brayden would take him, whereas Beth would not take Ty. Yeah. So Ty, if, if it was a situation where it was Beth and Brayden. Now is the time when Ty would choose Brayden, cut that relationship off with Beth that Brayden and Beth have, yeah, and then have Brayden all to himself. Yeah, and I know that's what he's thinking. He wants Brayden in his pocket. Yeah, of course. Because in the end, he beats Brayden, and Brayden takes him over anybody. Yeah. So that's a better player for him right now. And then he cuts off. He has me more now because Beth's gone. No, for sure. And yeah. I don't have that other relationship. Yeah. So I know for a fact that if Brayden and Beth are on there, Ty will vote Beth. Keith will vote Beth, and then all you have to worry about. Do is you not think that Keith would vote Beth if Brayden was sitting next to Beth? He would vote Beth to go. Yeah. yeah. Or I mean, you don't think that Keith would? You think Keith would vote against Tashawn? Because it, it would literally come down to Keith's vote. Yeah, yeah. No, it would be Tashawn. Tashawn and, and Keith would vote Beth to go. Yeah. Because I know for a fact that Keith wants me as a number one. Yeah. If Beth's here, I'm not that for him. Yeah. He wants her gone. Oh, he's yeah, he wants her gone. Like, when he says backdoor Beth, like, he's not kidding. Like, he's been yeah. saying that. Yeah, he so, wants like, her gone. He wants her gone for sure. That's what I mean. That's why I don't think, like, Ty wouldn't go. Oh, regardless. No, Ty would. Ty would. Because I know for a fact he's cheesed about the comments he's been hearing. So yeah. I think, like, obviously you've told him some things that Beth has said. He's not happy about it. He knows that if Beth's here, me and him are, like, not as tight as we could be. It was more stuff that Beth told Brayden. Oh, okay. So it was both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Well, yeah, well, you can just see now, like, even yeah. Brayden going and telling him that. Yeah. 
that shows that like their strong relationship right there. Oh and, like, yeah. And Beth even asked Brayden last night. She's like, "Do you all have you?" And Brayden didn't even. He said no. Like he he basically said, "I love you," but yeah, no. So, like obviously she knows she's going, mm -hmm. but it's basically for you. It's the decision of who you want to ruffle in the end. Right. Because I know that Ty does not feel comfortable on the block. Yeah. And he's or he's shaken like even with the possibility of going up. Right. 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 So. I'm just saying, like, think about it because if he's mad next week and he's like, I need Tara out now, yeah. then I have to go with him. Mm -hmm. And that's just, that's just how it is. Totally. Yeah, I get that. And if he wins and I'm playing the veto, like, I'm confident I'm going to win another veto. Yeah. And then that, at that point, at that time, I can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just like who you want to ruffle feathers with, who's most likely to win. Like, Brayden doesn't want anything like that. Like, he can't, he doesn't really, he's not really in a position to be like that mad. So it's like, mm -hmm. if he does go up as a pawn, like, you just communicate that. Mm -hmm. And you know Keith and Ty are voting Beth out. There's nothing I can even say to them about it. Right. And at the end of the day, like I told you, like Braden staying gives me two people I can put on the blog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Beth goes, that's just like, I don't have to, that means I don't have to cut her. That's a jury vote for me in the end. Oh, no, 100%. I don't 100%. have to be the one to do it. Yeah, no, no. So technically, it's better for yeah. me. Because I was going to have to make a tough decision within the next week or and a half. Yeah. About that. Yeah. And if I'm HOH and I put her up, yeah, it's, it just looks me. terrible. I'm done. Yeah. I'm not getting that vote. Yeah. So, like, at least if she goes home on your HOH, that's your move. Yeah. I'm on. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, for me, it's just like, she's going either way, but what relationship do you want to have left when you can't play next week? Yeah, absolutely. That's the only decision you have to make. Obviously, you have to talk to people. Mm -hmm. All I know is that Braden sits, sits calm on the block and he's, he's done it in the past. Ty has never hit the block. And if this is the first time he does, I feel like he's going to be shaken. Yeah. He's already shaking. Yeah, well, I'll obviously, like, chat with him. I just... See how he feels about it. I mean, either way, best going, but... Yeah, there could, like, if I put Brayden up, there could be a flip, and Brayden could go very easily, and then I'm literally screwed for next week, and you guys have your final four situation yeah, that everybody no has sense. said. It just makes no sense at this point, because Brayden has done nothing in this game, Yeah. and he's probably the easiest person to be in this house right now. Yeah. So it's like, you, you either... That's what I mean, like, I, he can't up, go. You split yeah. up a showmance and a strong, two strong players... Or yes. you send home a Brayden. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, it can happen. It just makes no sense to me. Like, and Keith is smart. He knows that. Yeah. Ty knows that. Yeah. Ty knows he can't cut Beth on his HOH nope. either. So yeah. it's like, this is, and Beth like already is like, she knows she's going home. Yeah. So to me, it's literally just the relationships you want to have left yeah. in the house. Yeah. And I'm connected to Ty, so that's like a mutual thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically it. That's that, that's basically. It. Yeah. I know you can't do the Keith thing, obviously. Like I wouldn't do that. I'd leave. He has to stay. Well, he just we need like a bigger target. Exactly. He's still seen as a bigger target. Yeah. So. And I know I'm kind of just like a sitting duck, right? Like. Well, technically, you are just because you can't play. <laughs> so yeah. like. And there's always like a veto up for grabs, but like yeah. I need like some viable, viable options. Yes. Braden and Keith are always going to be targets. Yes. Exactly. And. So could I. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I mean, it's getting to the point where everyone's kind of has... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for Braden, like, everyone has something on their People are going to have to start, like, playing for themselves and... Yeah. Yeah, no, I've already, like... I'm I'm already, like, next week is... That's where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, obviously, I... Uh, obviously, I'm with Ty, like, in that sense. But other than that, you got to play... I'm open to just doing whatever with anybody at yeah. that point. Cause it's, like, fun and I'll fun. obviously, like, chat with Ty more, yeah, too. Because I, I don't want him, like cheesed at me i thought we had like a really good talk at wendy's mm -hmm. do you know what i mean mm -hmm. no he was, i do actually think that you guys are the most like you guys don't really talk shit about anybody mm -hmm. and everybody else does yeah i mean that's literally what we said like why we've come so far as targets like we are yeah it's just because like we don't we don't bullshit <laughs> we don't really talk shit about anybody yeah we just like say what the truth and then like what we're gonna do yeah we clearly been together this whole game yeah and still no one has really come at our necks so no. it's just because we've been straight up with people yeah and that's what we're going to continue to do of so course that's why i just hope that us and you can have like an open relate like open, absolutely you know what i mean yeah and like and i just like i just don't want any animosity from him towards you yes because no I and just, i like if i felt like there would be then i obviously like wouldn't do you know what i mean yeah i just yeah just definitely talk to him yeah because i know he was shook last night it was late night like i don't even know like he was obviously like he really wanted to win. I that. think he really wanted he, he, he wanted the win for himself. He wanted to win, yeah. He really you know? yeah. I felt bad for him, so I would definitely just, yeah, talk to him and 
hopefully. Mm -hmm. I'll probably talk to you again later after you talk For to sure. everybody. And, um, how is like Beth doing? I'm uh, not great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like pretty upset, but I mean, she's like just happy. Like she saw her sister and she was just like, you know, excited to see her family again. And, and yeah, like it's obviously gonna be tough, but at the mm -hmm. same time, it's like. I know, I wish that there's a way that we could keep her too. <sighs> I, I honestly didn't want her to go. Yeah, I was that's like, the vibe I got. Like, yeah. I didn't actually want her to go. No. Like, I, for some reason, I, oh, at first I thought... No, you, there was just a lot of, like, heat to put her up. Yeah, And I, I was know. like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I mean, at first... I, I honestly was, like, hoping that she would come down, mm -hmm. I could throw up right in, and you would actually stay, and I could cut a deal with you and Beth. Right. Well, I guess it's, like, now it's, like, the same situation, but just me and Ty. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah. It's just, like... It's still two of us, you know? So yeah. like, at least we can make that deal yeah. with you. Yeah. Um, and, um, and yeah, like, we just have to just move forward, I guess. Like, yeah. at this point, it's like, there's only two weeks left, pretty much. It's crazy. So, there's only five comps. Yeah. That's why I think Beth's... Or four now, right? After that one? Well, yeah, I think yeah. There's the five HOH, five veto, four HOH, four veto. Yeah, four after the one that... Three. Well, and then it would be, HOH. like, the final three. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's four, yeah, four. That's fucked. Which is getting to the... They're really getting there. It is. Yeah. That's yeah, I mean, I think that's why it's easier, like, for her, just because there isn't that much time left. Like, you're here for the majority of the time, 55 days. Yeah. It's pretty good. And I don't think any of us expected to even get this far. No. You know what I mean? No. I definitely didn't. So. That's a crazy bunch left. I am really proud of you, though. I think. Thank you. You crushed that. I, I knew you would. I thought you were going to pray on my praying for my demise honestly no <laughs> i know even like when you came and you're like oh thanks for not like running me through the coals i'm like why would i oh yeah. i've only ever like wanted to take shots at you because you're an awesome competitor yeah i know you're gonna be very hard to beat and honestly in the end if you just keep winning and winning and winning yeah you you deserve every penny yeah do you know what i mean like yeah. there's no like that's all there is to it you played a great game mm -hmm. i knew you had a really great chance of winning that veto i just didn't want you using it on somebody else yeah no, it's, it's all there it's is. the best move. Yeah. Literally, that's the same reason I put you up last week with, with Tina. Yeah. It's like the same it's, thing. I'm like, yeah. you're going to take her down. It's like the smartest game move to make. Yeah. And you have two people that are together. So, no, 100% respect the move. Um, and a lot of things will come down to vetoes moving forward. Dubs, yeah. You know, if you get an HOH and you're safe, but even then, like, you're never really safe. Because mm -hmm. that's always the hardest thing from an HOH is, like, can you survive the next week? That's the hardest part. If I do, great. If I don't, I'm like, well, fuck, I tried. Yeah, you know, exactly. like, what am I supposed to do? Yes. It's There's, like... like that's what everybody's everyone says, gonna be like mad about something. It is. It's it's really hard, it's but it's just about setting yourself up, right? You had to make a move that sets yourself up. Yeah, for absolutely. Week. So yeah. yeah, dope. All right, All cool. Good chat. Good chat. I'll come back uh, in a bit. Yeah. Maybe listen to some tunes. Yeah, absolutely. Good talk. Yeah. Glad you got here. And I will. I'll make sure. Like, yeah. Thank you for finding <laughs> yeah, no that worries. for me. I was me. flipping the, the bed. <laughs> I need to make a tea or something. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm gonna have a tea as well.